Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. All you need is a starter ship. That is the name of this series because that is how we're going to start. We're going to start off with a Mustang Alpha and, and then we're going to evolve the series organically. I'm going to make some decisions about what missions I do from episode to episode. I'm sorry if my FOIP's gone a bit weird. I've, I've got weird lighting behind me. Um, I look very surprised at all times. Or stones. Or surprised. Or, or both. Um... So the idea here is that we'll do a big cross-section of Star Citizen gameplay, work our way up from a starter ship to renting a better ship to make more money, and then see what gameplay is available in the game. And I say we, because I'll be working with Salty Mike to do a variety of other greater works together. So we'll he's be, going to be using a Mustang... No, I'm going to be using a Mustang Alpha. He's going to be using a Aurora MR. And then we're also going to um, get together and do some multi-crew and multiplayer gameplay together and we'll be trying out one of us going lawful one of us going outlaw and doing counter missions against each other and stuff like that as well so you can get a good representation of what some of the gameplay is sort of like going for at star citizen at the moment and then we can evolve that for every patch we can go oh the next patch 3.8 let's see what the new gameplay is like and, and do it like that so ah, enjoy it's also a great week if you're looking at it this week this video i suppose you're looking at it when you look at it but there's a free flight on and um, that's good because you can try loads of ships out for free. I'm going to make a character. It's going to look like all my characters do. Ridiculous. Uh, so we're going to use office members such as Mars Eckhart. And uh, blend this with other man that I'm sorry looks a little bit like me. Uh, and we're going to make it look more like this guy. And then we're going to apply this dude's skin. Bam. And then to make it more look like me... We just remove any form of hair. And then it's basically board gamer. Perfect. You look like a potato slightly, sir. Into the Stanton system. Visit location. We're jumping straight into the persistent universe. And I'm going to be at Port Olisar. I'm going to start effectively with 10,000 Alpha UBC because I've used uh, uh, a referral code. And I recommend anyone makes an account for the game, use a referral code, you get 5,000 Alpha UBC free. If someone signs up with your referral code, uh, you get extra bonuses and stuff. And during the free flight, you even get a, a free Merlin. I say a free Merlin, you get a Merlin. Um, so we, we spawn in there. I'm interacting with things by holding F down. And uh, that allow me to open doors, but not doors that aren't mine. Oh, can't open that even though it says open. Uh, so I'm just going to run downstairs. To the ASOP terminal. F4 will go into third person. That's what I'm doing there. Got a bit of chonkiness. Chonky boy. Um, choppiness with the with the game. Which is a little bit annoying. You know, you might as well have the, the full unadulterated experience. Um, I am going to have a quick look in Dumper's Depot before I do anything else. So I've got 10k Alpha UEC. And I might spend some of that. Uh, on getting some new weapons. So, I'm going to check out weaponry. Um, so, the Mustang Alpha uh, and the Aurora MR basically have the ability now to mount size 1 weapons um, on size 1 gimbals. So, you can use auto gimbal with them. Um, and the Mustang Alpha only has two weapons uh, and it's starting turret uh, to start with. So, buying another two weapons straight away, if you're going to run missions that have some form of combat in, is a great idea. However... We only have 10,000 uh, Alpha UEC at the moment. So I'm trying to work out whether it's worth doing that or not. Um, get the distortion repeaters, which would allow us to strip shields a lot quicker. Should we try the distortion repeaters? They're really cheap. So it feels like even if they're trash. Let's, let's do that. Let's buy a couple of these bad boys and hopefully not regret it. We just make another account and pretend this never happened, if, if they're total trash. Um, so, the idea here is I'm going to run some missions of what's available. Now, they might be destroy probe missions, they might be clear out um, security post Korea missions. So, I've grabbed a couple of extra weapons from my ship, which I'll equip in a second. We can hear the strange sounds here in the centre. Oh, is this some form of in-law thing? Hmm... Uh, we could grab some more armor, although I think I'm probably okay. 
So a lot of people will probably recommend grabbing a backpack and then getting the multi-tool, the mining tool, which you can do. That's probably a, a good way of making money straight away. Um, but we, I am going to go down a different route. You, you can watch my tutorials if you want to go down other routes as well. Um, so, do I grab a gun and med pens? Yes. Yes, I do. You see, you're, you're going through my... My thoughts as I have them. Uh, I'm going to grab 11 med pens, maybe slightly excessive. Smart buy. Um, so we've got an arc light pistol, which I will buy some mags for as well. And then we will grab a cheap weapon. Uh, custodian. Devastate shotgun's probably quite a good shout. We'll grab a Devastator shotgun. Unless there's something super cheap as well that can go with it well. And I think that that's probably a good shout for killing NPCs. Um, so buy that, and we'll also buy ammo for that. I think you're going to be happy with that. Uh, devastator, where's the ammo for that? Ah. And that is a very cheap way of starting the game. We've still got 4,500 Alpha USC available. Um, I'm going to equip all this stuff. Where can I buy a weapon? Scrub, Saint Hedgehog. Well, one day. If you watch one of my tutorials on this video, maybe you'll know. Bam! I still have to get rid of that. I'm not helping him today. I'm a monster. F1 on my Moby Glass. And then I'm... No, I'm... No, no. Put out the Moby Glass! After! It's good. It's fine. It's meant to do that. I didn't get stressed or anything. That's uh, a feature, not a bug. It's all good. Uh, so I'm going to equip the weapons I just, uh, I just picked up. Uh, and we're going to... Yeah, make sure that we have magazines here as well. A couple of, well, one of each, I suppose. It's a good idea. We could grab some heavier armor, but I think I'll probably be okay. Um, got Medipen already equipped. Utility item, don't have a utility item yet, but we will look at um, other ways of making money later. And um, we're going to go to the vehicle loadout manager as well, and we're going to edit our ship. So, uh, free fly time, we've got a load of ships to actually use. But we're going to focus on the Mustang Alpha. Um, and I am going to change its weaponry up. So, ah, okay. So, I'm going to grab the variable puck gimbal mounts from the Aurora MR. I believe that the Mustang Alpha is supposed to have them by standard. If you get a Mustang Alpha, you will have the ability... Well, you get given a, an Aurora as sort of like a loner as well, it seems, at the moment. So, just grab um, those variable pucks off the wings there. Um, I don't think that's too much of a, of a cheat. I actually uh, previously talked to Twack about being able to do that because the, the Aurora just has them. Um, so I'm going to grab those, um, put them on my ship. Hopefully they'll be available to buy somewhere at, uh, at some point, the, the size one gimbal mounts, or they'll just give you four with each ship. Uh, and then on those, I'm then going to... Uh, they come with the yellow jackets, apparently. I'm going to put the weapons that I bought. Bam. So now we've got a ship with four weapons to start with. Hopefully, that will be at least semi-effective. Um, probably much more effective at taking our shields than anything else. Right. Uh, F1. Now I'm going to spawn our Mustang Alpha. And it's going to tell us which pad it's on. Which... Which landing pad? DO2! Uh, blah, 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 blah. This way! So I still don't know what missions I'm going to do yet. It's going to literally be based on what is available. And I have a look. Got a frame rate of around 70. Or the side. We were getting a little tiny bit of hitching earlier. Uh, this way. It's very early in the morning for me. So I'm going to be extra dumb. So uh, we are equipped for pretty much any mission other than potentially delivery missions. Uh, some delivery missions are suitable still. Because we don't have the proper cargo bay in our ship uh, for taking boxes safely. <laughs> My name is SaltyBoard17. Uh, That's funny. That's funny, at least to me. Uh, so I'm going to press R to ready my ship. Um, give it a couple of seconds to chill. 
Press F4 so we get a nice cinematic takeoff. And hold space. And hopefully my ship doesn't get too angry when it takes off. Now, uh, Pololosaur, I actually like to now take off above the ring before moving along. I'm going to press N to get uh, my landing gear retracted. I hold Z while in third person if we want to move the camera around. For people that want to do pretty things. But we will go back here. Press F4 again. Um, and then I'm going to look for a mission to do. So, Contracts Manager. Uh, Bounty Hunter Mission... So, I actually quite like grounding bounties. Um, so, potentially we could do this bounty mission and then get access to a load of bounties. Um, we've got uh, destroying probe missions, um, which can be done pretty quickly as well. Um, and so, the, the idea here is that for this first episode, I'm going to try and get some money together so that I can upgrade my ship or get enough money to rent another ship that's my first goal financially um either upgrade my ship a reasonable amount or get enough money together to to rent a new ship um because then i can leverage that to you know get a prospector and then go mining properly or or whatever um or get a a, a cutlass black and then do a proper cargo running or or, or something like that or even avenger titan um, that's going to give me a lot more sort of like flexibility in the missions I take and how easy it is to complete them. Um, I'm going to avoid delivery missions. Um, so what shall we do? Um, we could go to a cave mission. That would be fine if we had mining equipment with us, the hand mining stuff, because then we could make a load of money on the way. So I'm going to avoid that. So mercenary missions, potentially maintenance, not maintenance because that's delivery and uh, carrying boxes. So mercenary... Maybe bounty hunting. So where's this? Comoray S228. Bam. Perfect. So, I'm going to open up Skyline. I'm going to work out where this monitor is. Pretty damn close. I'm going to fly there. We might have to engage some pirates. Uh, but we might be able to entirely avoid them if we're tricksy little hobbitses. And I am a tricksy little hobbitses, I promise you. Press B to pull up my quantum drive, aligned to the uh, point I just set on my Mavic glass and my star map, and then held B after it was fully spooled and calibrated to travel there. You'll get me describing how the controls work throughout this, and even if you know them back to front, sort of say what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here is I... I'm looking for skimmers, these little probes. I'm entirely blinded by the sun, though. So if I press tab, I go into scanning mode. And if I hold down a right click, I will um, power up a scanning beam and I can release it. Um, and then I can work out where things are. So I can see that there's two things over here. Um, probably the skimmers are over here. So I have one over there and one over there. When I get a bit closer, you will see a little a little flash. There we go. That is the first skimmer. Gone a little bit too fast past it, but that's fine. Pressing one while highlighting it, while hovering over it, to literally uh, target it properly. I've pressed R to cycle into auto gimbal mode. Now, auto gimbals, they need to be balanced at some point. They're pretty OP at the moment. Um, if you've got gimbaled weapons, then they basically semi-lock on to uh, for you. So if I move away, you can see there's two little dotted circles. When I get closer um, and it's had a little tiny bit of time, it will become a single circle. I'm still dotted. Uh, and then that means my weapons are sort of like locked on. Go a little bit further away. Well, this is making me shake a lot more than I expected it to. Boom. So now we've got to destroy the other two in five minutes. So we will scan again. And some enemy ships might be coming along as well, but we can just entirely avoid them if there are. So this is only 6k away. This is effectively easy money because, you know, we can uh, choose what to engage here. Eventually you should get, like, bounties probably for taking out pirates and stuff individually. It'll make it a lot more worth your while. 
if I can sort of strafe around this while firing. How much I'm shaking. Bam. And then we just need to find the last one. You see over here there are actually enemies and a, a friendly apparently as well. Uh, so I would assume that is the last one over there. Could be an enemy fighter though. You see they're actually fighting over there. The reason I'm not going to max speed is because I don't want to go too fast because as soon as I see a flashing light, then I'll just be going far past. There it is. As you can see, I'm just now hurtling past it super quick. Didn't even see a flashing light that time. So I'm uh, holding shift down to use Arthur Burner or boost. Uh, holding X to do space break. I can press C if I want to cruise control, but the problem with cruise control uh, is that if you forget you've got it on, you will ram into things. Because I'm an idiot. Well, I'll ram into things. I'm just uh, holding it uh, S there to literally back up. And that's it. That is mission done. Um, destroy all monitors before upload. Great. Objective complete. Free money. And I don't have to engage any of these ships if I don't want to. There are some helpful security forces. It's sort of like uh, just tanking them for me. A very small reward, though. So, what can I do for more rewards? Well, you can do more of those missions if I wanted to. Um, some of the missions do lead to more and more money the more of them you do, uh, effectively. Okay, we can go out and clear out uh, Security Post Korea. There's uh, been an intrusion on foot. And it's worth... 7,000 now for UEC. We have a shotgun. We don't have any armor, though, um, which... Uh, and we had money for armor, so it's a bit of a bit of a faux pas by me. Um, bam. Security post career. You also see these missions pop up on your screen, um, potentially from other people, potentially from uh, NPCs. That will have you going helping them. And they might be worth quite a lot of, a lot of cash. Um, so bear that in mind. Always read a mission though. Some of them are going to be so far away. I would like to try and stay within one planetary system. So at the moment around Crusader. And I will eventually move. Who is this? Is this the... Let's say Cutlass Black. Uh, I'm going to scan him. So I'm literally going to press tab again to go in scanning mode. And then hold left click on him. Okay. So, looks like it's entirely empty at the moment. How strange. Just approach security base Korea, and we'll land on one of the pads. We don't have to request a landing or anything here. We can just land at the moment. I'm not going to come in too quick. There is another ship here. That could mean... Violence. Why you violence my boat? That is a, a, a very obscure reference. Okay, so probably someone inside prayer already. That said, there are still seven hostiles remaining. I press N to bring down my landing gear. Should show me pads to land on them. It doesn't matter if it doesn't, I'll just land. Landing complete. Fantastic. I press Y to get out of my seat. Pressing Y is your friend. Gets you out of any station or seat you're basically in. Uh, I'm going to grab out my shotgun. I am regretting very heavily not having that armor now. Uh, I think it's... Is it? I hope it's still C. I haven't changed it. Or my med pen. It's either C or V at the moment. So we'll soon find out. But we're going to be listening out for hostiles. So, 
press T to get my flashlight up. I don't think that flashlight helps. Oh. So, the first problem I've had is my gun's not firing. Hopefully my pistol will. My pistol does fire. Fantastic. But my shotgun... Now fires. Thanks, shotgun. You're the best. Uh, so we could grab this guy's weapon. I'm happy that my shotgun now fires. We've taken out a couple of those guys. Fortunately, they were inside each other. I'm, I'm not judging. Oh. Cock it. Buy armor. Well, I'm coming back. Come back for you. Don't you, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, they've taken my shotgun as well. I'm retrieving that as well. Right. We're going back. I'm buying armor as well. That's going to teach you. Where am I going? This way. Need a training montage as well. That would help. Uh, it's also... So... Is the backpack medium armor? This medium armor? It's light armor. Ugh. Because... We do want that backpack at some point. I'll grab it now. We'll grab the backpack now. So that gives us damage reduction in the torso, but also will be super useful for later. Um, and will be representative of our sort of uh, health later as well. Uh, I will uh, grab a, a hat though. Some form of uh, helmet. Reduce damage. Really, we, just, we can only really afford a light helmet, which is fine. Uh, oh no, maybe we can get a medium one. We can get a medium helmet. Get, oh yes, a board gamery one. Perfect. So, let's put these bad boys on. Uh, armor. Tan helmet. Also armor. I mean, it's slightly off colour, but no one's going to notice. They'll just think it's a bug. Perfect. So we've lost our shotgun, but we've still got our, our arc light pistol. Um, I'm going to make sure that I've got some... Uh, thing with jigs equipped. Magazines equipped. Save that. It's okay. Apparently this... Hopefully, I'm not actually suffocating. So now I see why well, there's so many empty ships here. That's what's going on. AI have been moving as a single group. <laughs> they typically have not been a threat before, like at all. Press end to put down my landing gear again. Gonna land next to my ship here. Perfect. Right, so we are cheated slightly by using this Avenger Titan, um, which we got because of the free flight, but we've now. <laughs> Released it from its bondage, and it's just it's it's doing its own thing now. It's chill, um, but really we should have reclaimed the the Mustang Alpha. But I sort of want to reclaim my ship for honour. Uh, so we've got our new armour on. We know that there's enemies nearby, at least three of them. Hopefully we're cool. That's fine. I'll make sure my gun fires. 
I may have alerted them to my presence. Two remaining. One remaining. You grab the gun. Yeah, we do. Oh, that was good. That was <laughs> got turned around and then he was just there. Thank God the AI is currently shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that'll teach you. That'll teach you for being trash. So there's significant AI um, updates coming with 3.8. And the AI at the moment um, is a bit sort of like bamboozled. They haven't finished building it out and stuff like that. Um, and there's problems with uh, servers getting overloaded and things. And they are more challenging than they were before. And I, I don't think I've ever died FPS before. Uh, so there is that. But that was effectively that mission. We just had to, well, fire a shot, get all the guards to run at us. But where's my shotgun? Is my shotgun still here or is my body despawned? My body's probably despawned by now. But... I mean, I cannot liberate my shotgun back. That is sad, sad times. So, we'll clear up some more people at Korea. And then we'll travel to Hurston or Upcorp the second episode, effectively, and rent an Avenger Titan to do bounty hunter missions and potentially some other missions. We can also grab a mining tool while we're there um, for the future. That might be a good shout. Nice and simple. Go back to Security Post Korea. We're already here. Now this time, this time, hopefully I die slightly less. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. Is that Cutlass there before? Is our landing gear down? It is. Perfect landing. They spawn upstairs. Okay, here's a good place to fight from. Anyone else around us? For me or not? No, stop firing at me, gun. Oh, God. No. Oh, oh, I shot him so hard he flew away. Pretty low on ammo. Oh god. I have to equip that one. Come on. Oh. 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 Where's the last one? Where are you? You're not spawned behind me or something, have you? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So you press C to, to use a med pen. We're glitching in a load of bodies. Oh, uh, <laughs> when they, when the AI are smart, this is gonna be great. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Panicking me. Oh, yeah. They, they're, they're doing some better death animations as well. Uh, I believe for three point eight, which will be good. But that's some quite easy money. But you need a gun. And you need armor, just in case, eh? So that's uh, let's escape security post Korea. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For October, it's an Anvil Carrick Explorer ship that should hopefully be flyable in Alpha 3.8 at the end of the year. Just comment on any of my videos made during October to be in for a chance to win that. Looking for a new gaming PC? Check out Shadow instead. They give access to high-spec gaming PCs over the internet on your home PC, phone, tablet or similar device. 
it means you never need to upgrade or own your own gaming PC again. Shadow have just announced a new range of systems with graphic card options from a GeForce 1080 to a Titan RTX, more RAM and storage options to cater for 1080p to 4K ray tracing gameplay. Check out the links below and use the code BoardGamer to get a discount. There should be an option and price point to suit you. Shadow are currently taking pre-orders for the first 50,000 new users for this updated service that will go live February 2020. So check it out now, see if it's right for you.